Hello everyone, this is Dr. Goforth, tentative specialist at the ENT Institute in Alpharetta, Georgia. Many people have asked me how coronavirus could affect their tinnitus. Is it going to make it worse? Uh, the truth is, I don't know. Uh, we've never seen this before, so I'd be speculating to say anything about it at this point. But I do know a couple things. We have two enemies with tinnitus. Number one is silence, and number two is stress. And if you're at home quarantined, uh, the chances that you're going to be in silence are greatly increased. Uh, maybe you're not working out. Maybe you're not working. Maybe you're not shopping. You're just kind of stuck at home, which you should be. If that's the case, then chances that silence are around are, are greatly increased. But you can control that. All you have to do is do something. Get up. Uh, make a list. Uh, make a, a little chart where you, uh, you itemize what you're going to do for the day. You can start it off by waking up in the morning and working out. Or maybe trying a new recipe. Or video chatting with some friends. Or many other ideas you can do just to make sure that your mind is busy and make sure you're not sitting in silence. This can greatly reduce your perception of tinnitus. Or like in my case, if you're at home and you have a seven-year-old and a four-year-old, silence does not exist. Which leads to the number two thing that you control that affects your tinnitus perception, which is stress. Now, four-year-old and seven-year-old screaming, that can actually really elevate your stress level. But there's other things, too. Uh, you know, in this time of uncertainty with coronavirus, we don't know what to expect next. And that can cause fear, which can cause anxiety, which can cause your perception of tinnitus to greatly increase. See, it activates your sympathetic nervous system, which, again, uh, makes you notice your tinnitus more. So you can control that as well. Deep breathing exercises, relaxation exercises, many different things you can do to control your tinnitus. Uh, so in these times with the coronavirus, we, we're not sure really what's, uh, what it's going to do, what it's not going to do, but uh, we have hope. We can control the things in our own lives, and we need to have hope. So with your tinnitus, just make sure that, number one, you're not giving up. Make sure you're, you're not in silence and make sure you're controlling your stress because you can control it. Don't let your tinnitus control you. If you need more help, you can get in touch with me. Uh, there should be a link around on this post somewhere that you can click on and uh, we can help you with your tinnitus. For now, I want you guys to stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home.